Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can turn on reviews and ratings for your products inside the e-commerce store. It goes without saying that product reviews will increase your conversion rate. So let's get this turned on as fast as possible. Now, please note, you have to turn on this toggle first in the products list or in the products details page. So on both of the pages, you can turn on that people can leave your review. Also, I think it's important to say that you as the store owner have the possibility, you have the power over accepting or rejecting a review. So to turn this on, click on sites on the left, stores at the top, and then select your store. And then let's go into both pages, product list and product details, open a new tab. And this is the products list page. Then scroll down, click on the product element so that the menu on the right hand side here shows up and you can see a new section called reviews and ratings. Okay. It's already turned on. You can see the stars right here. If you turn it off, the star rating disappears. Okay. So now let's get this turned back on. You can also decide if you want to show the rating count, which is the number 45 here, for example. So let's turn this off and then these numbers disappear. Okay. This comes in really handy if you only have like one or two reviews and you don't really want to show people that this is a new product and hasn't been sold that many times just yet. You can just turn it off. However, if you want to leave it on, then you just toggle this on. Okay. You can also, of course, change the text color and the review and rating color. So this is black. Let's change it to pink, for example. Then you can see the 4.3 changed and the 45 changed. Now the stars, let's make them green so you can really see the difference. Awesome. So that's how you can then adjust it to your brand colors, maybe even, right? Now, so this was the product list page. Remember this one, you can also turn it on in the product details page. So let's go in there. This is the product details page. It's the same scenario. You can see the little stars showing up here. Okay. So you would need to click on the actual element, the orange one in this case. And then here on the right, again, the new menu pops up with the review and rating sections. The same thing applies here. What I just said, turn on and off the rating counts, turn on or off the rating in general, and then adjust the colors and the font. But down here, you have two more options, the right review button background color and the right review button text color. So this is the call to action button your client would see below the actual product listing. Let me just click preview here. Then the product page pops up in a new window and you can see down here, we have the writer review call to action. Okay. So this is the button, the writer review button. When you go back to the back end, this is the background color and this is the blue color, which is this button right here. Okay. So this would be publicly displayed inside of your store. Also, if you scroll down in the product details page, you can see the product listing right here. So this is how it would look like in real life on this particular page if there would be reviews. Okay. So you would see the average ratings. You could filter by top reviews or all stars. You could click write review right here. Okay. Now, if you wanted to submit and write a review as a customer, we can click write review here. We can enter our name, we can enter our email address can enter our phone number, then the client can add a headline, what's most important to know, okay? Then they can add a detailed review, then they can add a detailed review right here. So let's put it here in the overall rating, they can select between one or five stars, okay? So let's select five and let's hit submit. Then they will get this notification, review submitted successfully, amazing. Hit close. So this review that we just submitted has not been published yet. So click on payments on the left, products at the top and click the review section here. And you can see that review came just in. Okay. At the top, it listed itself as pending because we haven't worked with it yet. You can also filter to approved, unapproved and to trash. Okay. Trash will be, um, for example, the ones which are just spam comments and spam reviews to get backlinks and stuff like that. So let's go back to pending. You can even filter by date here. Hey, I just want to see all the reviews in this particular day, for example or you want to filter by product, store, and ratings, okay? Then if you want to decide if you want to approve or unapprove it, you just click the three dots here, and then you click approve or unapprove, or you click reply if you wanted to reply. So let's click approve, and you can see the review has moved from the pending tab into the approved tab, okay? Now let's refresh the other page. Awesome. Here you can see then the review shows up, one review, five stars. If you scroll down, you can see here the exact details and description. You can see the star rating. You can see the date and the time when this review has been made and by whom. Okay. Should you, for whatever reason, decide later on you want to delete it, you can just go to the approved section. You click the three dots and you click move to trash. Let's pretend we just want to reply now. Click reply. 
And then here you get the option again to change the status of the review. You can unapprove it even after you have approved it. You can move it to trash as well. You can click the arrow here so you can see it. You can see as the customer when it's been posted and the rating and the actual review. Okay. So let's reply here and then hit send reply. Let's go back here. Let's hit refresh. And here you can see we have replied. Thank you for your kind words. Awesome. Now let's go back and let's actually delete it. Move to trash. Now it's gone under approved and it's moved into trash. Let's refresh this page and you can see the review has been removed. Awesome. You also have a bulk action right here. Let's say there would be many different reviews. You could just mark all of them here. You could click that drop down menu and then approve all of them and approve all of them or delete all of them permanently. And that's it already. This is how you turn on reviews inside of your e-commerce store. I would encourage you to go ahead and do that right now and ask your customers to leave you a nice review. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video.